Hey, so welcome back to Outlast, uh, the third episode of this playthrough for the first time ever. Um, I was just checking out where I left off last time, and I think I might have made a mistake. I don't think I passed a, a checkpoint, so I might have to replay a tiny little bit. So where we left off, we were trying to get to the third floor of this asylum to meet up with the slightly dodgy but yet somehow helpful priest stroke doctor. I'm not quite sure what his deal is yet, we'll find out soon. And it looks like it's put me back in almost immediately the place I logged off, so that's perfect. Perfect. Six batteries, I'm ready to rock. Need to find this crazy bastard doctor now. Oh dear. <laughs> I think that's just uh, a regular mental patient. I'm not too concerned yet. Oh, now I am. I think I'm good. I don't think that bothered him too much. Hello, killer. Oh, oh, <laughs> fuck, I didn't expect to see a person there. How are you doing, killer? What's good? Fucking hell, this game. I really enjoyed those streams the other day, by the way. That was a good game. Just wish there was more of it. Right, so I've accidentally fallen down to the second floor. I've got to get back to that main foyer area, which I think is here. Yeah, perfect. Music's starting to freak, so something's afoot. I don't like it. Right, so I think that's the dead end. Why does that inmate have a radio? Or why did he have a radio? Oh, I do have to go this way then. Yeah, I know what you mean, Killer. Um, I was thinking the same. Maybe we can do it um, offline, like uh, off-stream sometime. I don't know. We know all the twists and turns, though, don't we, now? That's the problem. What do I have to do here? Do I need to get over there? Ah, oh, here we go. I couldn't figure out how to walk on that ledge there for a second. So I thought it was a dead end. I got nothing left. Nothing. Something's going to be in that room, isn't it? I can just feel it. Oh no. It's the ghosts. I fucking hate those. There's a new episode of um, A Way Out coming out? I didn't know that. That's fucking cool. That's really cool. But how do I get out of this room? Huh? 
Maybe I have to climb up. Oh yeah, over here. Oh, on your YouTube channel, I see. Excellent. <laughs> I just fell through the hole. Let's go back up these beds. Let's climb these beds again and get back up there. <laughs> Gotta watch out for that hole. There it is. I was just starting to get used to the um, the mental patients, just your regular garden variety mental patients. They weren't bothering me that much, and now they're just throwing ghosts into the mix. I can't quite stomach it. back to this room because I think it's a dead end and there might be a battery in there. Locked. You got to see more stuff from my point of view, yeah. Obviously, you, you're focused on your own uh, responsibilities, aren't you, when you're playing that game, so you miss out on a lot of other other content, really. Yeah, so it's good to rewatch. Maybe it is worth another play then. My video camera operation skills leave a lot to be desired. Look at these cameras, I see them everywhere. last instructions I saw said follow the blood so here we go to be on the okay somebody's in there it's big boy time oh god it's those guys what what where am I Was this where they were? No, it wasn't, was it? Oh! Oh! These are not regular garden variety mental patients. These are the twins. And they can fuck right off.
Am I going to play the second one after this? Uh, I'm definitely going to pick it up, yeah. I'm impressed by this game. And then I believe there's a third coming out soon as well. looks like where I need to be. No, it's locked. Maybe I should have shut that door. <laughs> morning point, how you doing? Good morning, sir. I'm, um, playing through Outlast again, <laughs> trying to pretend that I'm not shitting myself. Uh, I don't think it's coming off that well, is it? At the moment I'm being chased by the twins, two very aggressive but seemingly highly intelligent but also insane mental patients that have got a, uh, a liking for cutting people up with machetes and eating their organs, so that is the reason I'm hiding behind a bed underneath one. Follow the blood. I didn't see the, the blood. Let's go and have a look. I think this is the right um the right route. Oh here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, I can hear them, I can hear them. I heard voices. I don't know if you can hear that. I can definitely hear voices, but I don't know if it's the twins. What's, what's through here? Oh, that's the guy I need to meet. All right, good. Skinwalker bought you Hunt Showdown? Uh, I do have it. I like where this is going. Uh, we should play that sometime. It's a fun game. But I think I've got to go down there. Can't see the twins anywhere. I think I'm good. Just gonna go check this area in case there's any batteries, though. Nope. I'm gonna conserve my batteries for the time being. Oh no, really? So I know he's to that room there. But I can't get through. Oh. I'm confused. Where do I go? Ah, there's a ledge.
There seems to be a technique for getting on those ledges that I've not mastered. Let's try that again. There we go. Yeah, the Hunt Showdown is a very cool game. Looks great as well. The graphics are beautiful in that. So much fun to blow up things and set things on fire. Uh oh. Oh, hell to the no, I need that. Um, that's a big whoops. Oh shit. Um, how do I see in the dark now? You need your camcorder to navigate the darkness, no shit. <laughs> Hello, Akaru. Playing horror games in broad daylight, yeah, yeah. I would try and come up with an excuse for that, but there isn't one. I am a huge fucking coward. The my camcorder's fallen down... down there. That's... A, really bad thing to happen and I think there's one of the twins in the room as well well let's go <sighs> do not like this at all how the fuck do I... Right, I know I've got to go down to the floor below, so this is probably on the right track. At least you're playing... I tensed up a bit by playing Hello Neighbor. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a weird game apparently, isn't it? Because it's all cartoony, but... It still, it still gets you, that's all I've heard. I've not played it myself. Okay. Oh, fuck! Oh, good. <laughs> Fucking game. Oh, sorry about your eardrums, guys. I apologise for that. Oh, this is the man. This is the dude. Is it? Oh, I fucking hope it is. No, it's just a regular mental patient again, I think. Okay. Let's leave him alone. Can recommend that the game kind of adapts to you by placing traps and cameras and boarding windows in places you tend to go through. That's clever. I like the sound of that. That last jump scare's put me on edge a little bit. My video camera, all right, okay. Oh, 
find a way to the third floor. Can I not get through there? Oh no, I'm gonna get beaten to death. What the fuck? Ouch. Oh, my camera's broken too. Shit. Shit. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. Oh. oh no. This is it, I think I'm dead. Come on, come on, please. Right, I need to find a way out of here. That's a dead end. That's boarded up. That's boarded up. Can I hide in one of these lockers? No. Oh yeah, brilliant. I can jump up there. I thought it was too high. I don't know why I didn't try it last time. Need to take a breather. Oh my god. Oh dear. I just got to have a sip of coffee after that shit. Oh fuck. <laughs> Points clip something. I'm presuming that's me screaming like a girl. Imagine being a voice actor and at some point your script just says. Breathe loudly and panicky. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, as soon as I saw that camera sitting there, innocently, in a dark room, I knew something was going to go down. <laughs> this game is predictable at parts. I hope those twins aren't back. I fucking hate those guys. I've definitely trashed my camera. That static, I think, means that there's a wall rider nearby, one of those ghosts. <laughs> I thought you would look back at the recordings and see someone pick it up and record a message for you. I'll have a look at my camera in a minute, there might be something on there. See you later, killer. Thanks for joining, man. I'll speak to you soon. The wall riders are... Um, ghosts. Um, some sort of spirit. 
that have been manufactured by some sort of weird scientific um, lucid dream technology as far as I understand it so far I recognise the handwriting Father Martin killed a man here are the lies he's talking about all the files missing from these boxes the facts, the records they look like the government agency material I don't remember where I picked up that note I missed that one Can I make the jump now though? Good question. Um, yeah, that is a good question. I think I've... I probably can't, can I? Oh well, I want to find out. That's a note. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Simple solution is normally the easiest. I'm running out of batteries, though. It's not ideal. Find Father Martin in the administration block. <laughs> that was very confident, wasn't it? Jumping over a huge hole in the floor whilst it's pitch black. Oh shit. More static, that means there's ghosts around. Sure, he was in here. Come on, crazy doctor, crazy priest. He promised me a way out of this place, and I trust him. Bizarrely. <laughs> Gotta head off and do some groceries. Gonna watch F1. Have fun, dude. Enjoy the race. Try not to crap my pants. I'm making no promises. I'm making no promises. Right, I'm not going to jump over there. I think I've got to go down. Uh, wish me luck. Hello. Right, he's not immediately threatening, so I'm just going to be cool. He looks Only one way out. Only one way. Thanks for the information. How do you know you're not a patient? Good point, actually. <laughs> good, good point. squeeze through here. Good job I'm thin. I'd be dead by now. Oh no. It's the big guy. Oh fucking hell. I wish there was a way to quietly shut those doors. God damn. Now this looks like the area where I originally broke into this asylum. Battery. Oh! 
shit! Oh fuck. He's right behind me. Oh, oh god, oh god. Just... Just fuck off. Just fuck off. Please, just fuck off. The music is still going hard, but I can't hear his chains. Well, this shit wakes you up in the morning, that's for sure. Dead end. Is there a vent? No. Wasn't that the room I was just in? Fuck, I've got to stop doing that. I'm just going to hide here for a bit because I can hear him coming down the hallway. I think the coast is clear. I think. No, it's not. Please go down the hallway. Do not come in this room. Difficult to hear exactly where he's walking with the phone beeping, the music, my breathing. He's nearby, he's near. Oh no, he's very close. Oh shit! Oh, I'm dead man. I'm a dead man. Unless... Oh no, oh no! Oh fuck. That was lucky. That was very fucking lucky. Is that a dead body? Let's go and see. <laughs> Yeah, it certainly is. Sorry, a bit disrespectful, but... There was another route through that vent, but I think that this is where I'm supposed to be going, so I'm going to leave it be. Ah! Now, I came through this library originally. No, I didn't. Different room.
translated from German. I have, been press I have pressing news concerning the ongoing work of Dr. Rudolf Wernick in his development of the morph morphogenic engine, expanding on theories developed in his brief but unfortunate relationship with Turing. If I had not witnessed it myself, I would not believe it had happened, but beyond even the promise in cellular regeneration and guided cancer regeneration, if that's what I, I believe Wernick's method has breached the spiritual realm, something crossed from the other side. I personally witnessed the appearance of an apparition briefly, but undeniably so. That's those wall riders. Fucking terrifying. Please forward my note, an invitation to witness further experiments to Petrick Hector. I do not doubt that the Fuhrer himself <laughs> may need to be made aware of our discoveries. Wait, what? Okay, so it's okay. So this is a long time ago this happened. Wow, so these are ancient Nazi experiments that have been brought back to the UK, to the um, US, as part of um, Operation Paperclip and, and picked back up again. That's cool. I think there was more of that note. Let me see. Yeah. Represents an enormous opportunity for our cause and the German people. <laughs> and are obviously sufficient reasons to keep him out of any sort of culling program. Any culling program? Hmm. Questions arise. I'll go through there. Surely that's a dead end, yep. Oh, this game is fucking me up. Yes, I'm supposed to tell you, the key to the house of God is in the theatre, behind the light, in the theatre, behind the light. You have to see the movie, so that's where I left the card, okay? Hey! I need your help! Where are you? Yes, coming! I'm coming! Okay. <laughs> so, I've got to go to the theatre. Chapel, recreation hall, library lobby. Right, I'm not going to check any more glass doors. <laughs> I see a pattern emerging. So we're going up. <laughs> Question is, is that someone playing the piano or is that just in-game music? I'd love it if there was a mad patient who happens to also be a really good pianist. That'd be a nice touch. <laughs> Looks like I was right. He doesn't look friendly. I think I've made a mistake. I've just interrupted his uh, piano session and he's probably not too happy.
What's that over there? Exit. Buy for a new battery. I wish I could just bust out into some little Richard right now and bring the place on fire. Uh, exit interview recorded to December 27th, 1985 in Los Alamos, New Mexico. Clearance Sierra Alpha. Subject, Dr. Rudolf Wernicke, 14866. This is Andrea. Uh, there was no alteration to the footage at all? No triggery? None. In June of 1943, you recorded three instances of spontaneous bleeding. Uh, half a dozen test subjects began to develop brain tumors? Yes. The autopsies revealed that the tumors were pure lead. It killed them? Can you explain why the results could not be reproduced in the United States? I have my theories. My homeland in those years. It's impossible to understand the things we felt, what we believed. The overwhelming fear, ecstatic rage, and English birds are insufficient. More than hope, the human mind in that environment is capable of extraordinary things. You're saying the experiment needed a proximity to this? overwhelming madness. Only a test subject who had witnessed enough horror was capable of activating the engine. Do you believe your test subjects achieved something supernatural? No. Do you think that they contacted something supernatural? Nothing is supernatural. Then what was it? You said Project Wallrider was a gateway. A gateway to what? Order. His silence speaks volumes. Good old Nazi scientists. You can always trust him to fuck shit up. I'm not sure if that was a good idea. Uh, now I'm convinced that was a bad idea. You have to find Fernicky. Only way. I did my best. Is that the piano player? I was a little bit worried about that piano player because he looked really quite psychotic, like even more so than your regular psychos around here. Man sounds like Doctor Strange loves anemic brother. It's a 25-year-old audio recording, an interview with this Doctor Vernick. Los Alamos means government work. Vernick talks about spontaneous bleeding, tumors, psychosomatic reactions in sufficiently disturbed people. Seems to walk a line between science and Nazi mysticism. Only a test subject who has witnessed enough horror was capable of activating the engine. The engine, the movie they're projecting, gets in my head like a song you can't stop humming. Uh oh. I'm gonna get fucked up by this, I'm gonna become one of the experiments I can just tell.
flesh eating bacteria. Nice, why not? Wash those hands regularly. How timely. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll be out of there as well. If that was a government, I mean, a, a staff memo, I would not be sticking around. Under or through? Under. Get very short on batteries. Oh. Oh, hell to the no. Has he locked the door behind him? He has as well, hasn't he? But that's where I need to go. It's cool, it's cool. <laughs> Deep breaths, yeah. Yeah. I think the most scary thing at the moment is the fact that I'm now on my last battery. Oh, cool. Key to the access. Key to access to third floor. Mm. Okay. Find Father Martin on the third floor. That's what I was trying to do earlier on. And I got all fucked up. Try and remember which way I came in now. There was a guy in one of these lockers. I wonder if he's going to jump out on me. I'm ready for it. No? Okay. Oh god. We are leaving. Wait, what? How did I get in here? Oh shit, did I drop down? Dead end. He was a little bit, uh... Careless there, just let me slip by. I'll take it though. Can we shut this door? <laughs> what are you gonna do, bitch? <laughs> That's what I thought. I'm just gonna shut this door. I 
think I have to go in the lift. Before I do. Well, no, actually, I think I'm on the top floor. So this is probably the right way to go. Is that my boy? No, he's too muscular. Nice. Not gonna bother him, he seems like he's chilling out. So the patients are into static. They get their kicks from watching static. Okay, okay. But I think that somehow allows them to go zen, as it were. bit rude just busting through this guy's bedroom I gotta say, they seem quite civilized on this floor compared to the rest of the guys. <laughs> so there's that. They're all right in my book. Ooh. Can I get out of there? I kind of want to check out the rest of this uh, this floor first, though, especially if I uh, can find some batteries. Although saying that, I'm probably going to waste more batteries looking for batteries than I'm going to find. Unworthy applicant. You can serve our Lord only by feeding our Lord. Please take me, wall rider. Let my shepherd's apostle see it and spread it with his lies for a greater truth. Your time upon the world has come. My flesh longs for your beautiful wraith. My blood is filled with you and waiting to be set free. This is my prayer. Write your gospel in my flesh. I think that's the, um, the new Justin Bieber song. There's nothing. Hmm. 
not gonna lie, I'd be tempted to take my chances with that drop. Or try and shimmy down one of those drain pipes. Hello. God hates sickness. <laughs> Born in a barn? This is definitely the priest guy's realm, isn't it? I'm on the right track. God hates money. <laughs> okay. Uh, wait a minute, what? Now they're friendly? Alright, I'll take that. Just in case though. No offence intended. I'm going to shut you out of this chapel. Wow, this is cool. My Job. You alone shall escape the Talfa. This is your penultimate act of witness. The promise of the prophets was always freedom from death. And, and here it is. You will watch and record my death, my resurrection. And together we will be free. You are no longer in any danger. I fixed the elevator. It will take you to freedom. We will all of us be free. Now, my son. Oh. At least he's practicing what he preaches. New objective, the elevator will take you to the main exit. Well, ladies and gentlemen, on that note, I have to take a break. Um, I have to go eat. So, I will pick this up where I left off with these two naked dudes outside at some time in the near future. Thanks for joining me yet again, and I will see you next time.